everybody, I am here in the forge and with 29,300 plus steel badges and the impending purchase of the Missouri, I thought it would be worthwhile going over the forge and the steel badges and talk a little bit about what it takes to acquire steel badges to be able to buy some of these items in the forge. You can see you can get anywhere from the Missouri, which is essentially an Iowa class battleship with a radar, Murmansk, which I think is an uh, Omaha uh, for 6250 steel. And then you can get these Arctic camos here for the Sharnhorst. Duke of York, Edinburgh, and you can get an insignia for 2,500 steel badges or some promotion orders and some other items right here. And you know, no review of the forge would be complete without going over the frequently asked questions document that Wargaming put out in February of 2021 when the steel badges were first announced. And so let's go ahead and check that out real quick. All right, so here is the blog post. It's called Steel Badges and You. I will leave a link to the blog post down below in the details of the video here. And they have been receiving a lot of questions about steel badges, specifically about how to obtain and spend them. In response, they've prepared this short Frequently Asked Questions document. Are steel badges and steel the same currency? Their answer is yes. You may come across both terms in-game and in-game related publications with steel badges being the official name and steel being used as an abbreviation. Both terms refer to the same currency. All right, check it. All right, the next question is, what is the purpose of steel badges and why introduce a new currency? Great questions. Their answer is, Steel badges have been introduced to enable the most dedicated and competitive players to convert their dedication into unique rewards. Nothing wrong with that. The grind to get them, though, is slow and requires a lot of persistence, and the current top reward will take several months to earn. And the Missouri, uh, I guess some people were able to get the Missouri last year, but I think for the most part, it's going to take far more than a year for most people to get the Missouri. All right, next question. How can I earn steel badges and how fast can I earn them? The answer is there are two main ways in which you can earn steel badges. First way is earning certain achievements, usually the top places in the arena or ranked modes. And they have a note here. These competitive modes will always be the primary source of steel badges. And you don't really have to rank at the very top to get steel. There is steel available at the lower accomplishments in those modes. And the second way is completing endless trials after finishing campaigns. It says competing, but I think they meant completing. This allows some players to forego competitive modes entirely, but also takes significantly more time. Importantly, buying out campaigns will allow you to get more badges, but not as many as a competitive mode path offers and they want steel badges to be a free high-end resource that is difficult to get either way. All right, next question is how exactly do I earn steel badges from campaigns? Completing endless trials earns you renown, which in turn progresses you along the endless milestones. Each milestone is worth five steel badges and requires 25 renown to unlock. Depending on your skill, playstyle, and other factors, you'll be able to amass between 2,000 and 4,000 steel badges per update. And I think that the 4,000 is really only providing they have ranked an arena throughout the update. Uh, as we'll see in a little bit, what you will get by completing the endless daily and weekly trials is 1,250 steel. The maximum number of badges in the current update is 3,750 steel, and that's probably because they had either arena or ranked. I'm not really sure 
exactly back during this update in February of 2021. And the last question here is, what can I obtain in exchange for steel badges? You can spend steel badges on rare ships. Currently, only the Missouri is available as of this uh, writing. We now have another ship, the clone of the Omaha, in addition to the Missouri. But we plan to introduce more ships in the future. Okay, there you go. Valuable resources and customization items. Valuable resources are probably the skins, or maybe the customization items are the skins that we saw the um, the arctic skins and valuable resources could be the promotion items that we saw and lastly to reiterate we see steel badges as the ultimate reward for the most committed among you over the long term while some portion of steel badges can be bought by purchasing campaign milestones earlier and completing endless trials it's always going to be the lesser amount all right, so start earning steel badges and turn the tide. All right, so that is it for the frequently asked questions. All right, I'm in the campaign and mission section of the Lucky Six campaign. Let's check out the renown and see how all that steel adds up. Here under the daily endless trials, as we were kind of talking about before, you have to complete these tasks every day and what it is is you have to earn up to 12,500 XP in increments of 2,500 to go through these milestones and you will gain 25 steel per day over the course of 35 days and then every week uh, there's a new section here under Havoc but in general you got to get 2,100 XP 2,100 Commander XP 2,100,000 credits, 3,000 global XP, and 12,000 XP before bonuses. And for each of these milestones, it was 75 renown or 15 steel every week. And on top of that, you have a heroic effort here that if you complete the tasks in the heroic effort, you'll get exactly 25 renown or 5 steel. So when you add this up throughout the course of this particular campaign, if you don't complete any other heroic effort and you just stick with the weekly endless trials and the daily endless trials, you will get 1,325 steel according to my calculations. If you were to complete every single one of these heroic effort milestones and tasks here, you will get 2,200 steel for this particular campaign. And then like they mentioned, and I kind of showed a little blurb of that uh, during the frequently asked questions, during the arena and rank season, you do get quite a bit more potential steel. And then on top of all that, the last little bit here is the premium supplies. If you go over here under the legendary tab for the premium supplies, if you win seven battles in either standard or AI with a legendary ship, you will get 100 steel every single week. So throughout the year, you can get 5,200 steel just by completing this one particular premium supply legendary task. All right, well, that's it for the forge and basically what it takes to accumulate steel. Check back in a couple weeks when I will have enough steel to unlock the Missouri. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it.